Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. Behind me I have one of the most bare bones basic Tacomas. One of the lowest priced Tacomas you could get that has four wheel drive. I'm going to walk around and talk about it. I'll be right back. And I'm back. I'm actually surprised that we're not selling this one to our um, commercial account. We have a uh, an ag company that deals with uh, almonds and walnuts, and they typically buy up every one of these we ever get. Uh, these basic four-wheel drive Tacomas. Also, I find these to be a very popular vehicle with the pest control companies. But if you're just looking for a basic fleet vehicle or you just want an inexpensive pickup um, that's going to do the job haul stuff around and and be able to give you some four-wheel drive options if you get off of the the road and into the dirt like our uh, ag company does for the orchards um, that this is a good option uh, the 2.7 liter engine has been around with the uh, Toyota lineup for a very long time super reliable i've like virtually heard no problems from this vehicle now it is super basic you know so if you want features and things like that you would probably want to step up at least to the sr5 um, or the srsx package that gives you a little bit more features of this one here it doesn't even give you a fob key we have a, a traditional twist key that's going to have to unlock that door to get inside it instead of just a key fob or or most of them now with the smart keys doing that stuff but um uh, again, you still have the basic Toyota safety sense that all Tacomas come with. So that's something that um, they're going to need to improve in the future is put this better Toyota safety sense in it. Um, you have uh, incandescent lights. So you can just look at my last video I had. Um, it shows you the lights. It's yellow lights instead of the high, high um, HID LED type lights that are in most of the Tacomas nowadays. Uh, again, we have Toyota Safety Sense up in the windshield, does uh, detect pedestrians and cyclists and uh, large animals and does have the smart stop and the lane departure alerts and adaptive cruise control. So, but this is the one that gives you only the steel wheels in it instead of the, uh, um, the better looking wheels like your SX package. It has a V6 engine in it uh, and gives you a black anodized wheel. Looks a lot better and a lot more attractive. Let's go into the inside or actually let's talk about the uh, window sticker. All right, so again, this is a Tacoma SR 4x4 access cab. This has a 2.7 liter four cylinder engine dual valve variable timing with a six speed automatic transmission, uh, limited slip differential. So, this is the basic price before accessories are added on. Of course, I'd want all weather floor liners in it, but uh, bed mat that's an optional thing, and then something that's pretty dang expensive on here. I would not even want this, these tube steps. 500 bucks for that they, they could go away tailgate emblems 160 bucks they could go away so you could get this thing probably realistically somewhere more like 31,000 before tax license and dock depending on where you live in the country um, and then again it gives you the same features as the um, as most of the other models so you're going to have a apple carplay android auto xm radio is an option same cloth seats you'll get in sr5s um, same air conditioning and the basic same soft text interiors and in uh, dash is going to be all the same it's all going to look virtually the same that's all going to be uh, traditionally same with the same with this clamshell door just like I did with the XX V6 uh, we're going to have jump seats in the back uh, there is one really super basic one I had rarely even seen it when we had hundreds of cars for sale which is there is no jump seat at all and it's like the most stripped down model ever built 
Uh, that was the one that, one point where like it had an MSRP before any dock destination of like something like 22, 23,000 back in the day. Uh, I don't think they're going to be building those anymore. It'd be my guess. Let's go ahead and move to the back again. Work trucks. You want a little bigger bed, um, six foot one bed here, and they put the bed mat in here, give or take that. But that's good to like so things don't slide around. It does have the new 2022 lights, and this is a thing you're going to find here. Um, you're not going to get towing as a standard on the four cylinders. Uh, they're going to do that on all V6s. But uh, you would have to add towing on it. It's got about a 3,500 pound tow capacity when added. Um, you have a one backup camera and you do have strut assisted tailgate. Again, this is the rubberized bed mat that comes with it because it's a composite bed. Get, things could get slick and slide around real easy. Where we have um, uh, basically a, a power inverters and shore power on some of the vehicles. This is just cubby storage because there's no power inverter in there. Your rear window is manual operated, not a uh, power window as you would get in some of the, like the higher SR5s and the TRDs, of course. Um, there is no blind spot monitors or turn signal indicators as we would see in some of the higher levels. Again, we do have our shark fin for our safety connect and XM radio. Those are all part of this here. We do have a, a couple power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and not much on the dash. We have our traction control off and our auto dimming high beam. And then we have manual lumbar support, but that is also just some, uh, a manual seat and no power seat at this level of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and move into the inside. Again, we just have a standard twist key. And let's take, show you the startup sequence. And turn down that air. So you have the Tacoma startup sequence there. Um, does have cruise control. I've noticed some of the. Um, fix this camera a little bit here I've noticed some of the pet in the past there was a level to come maybe it was that really stripped out base one with no jump seats that didn't have even a cruise control option to it so maybe that's not even uh, something you, you uh, would ever see anymore because again once with la lack of chips and everything and the chips are coming back I've heard so that was good news from our general manager but they can get other things like the stuff that builds hybrid batteries and everybody wants a hybrid because gas is expensive right now but you have all your stuff here that controls your information center and your uh, push to talk for apple carplay android auto uh, the toyota system your lane departure adaptive cruise control and your toggle controls that center screen there we have our six inch infotainment now the big the better vehicles will get that eight inch infotainment instead of six inches and they'll have dual climate controls but again if just you just need something that's uh inexpensive this is a good option you know i mean it still has four wheel drive it, it's still got decent power for what it is does the job you know and it's not that pricey and it's something too with these tacomas they hold their value like crazy so you know you can't can't go wrong with this vehicle it's not going to lose much money you could have it for five years and probably see 75 percent of your investment back off the uh, purchase price um, also, you do have USB and USB A, USB A and USB C in the glove box, locking glove uh, or the center console, not glove box. And then you'd have a locking glove box up on top. We have our dome lights and our reading lights. We do have the SOS button, which is on every single Toyota. It's your emergency button. If you ever run an accident where airbags deploy, they will be reaching out to you for you need help. You can push out if you need help. Also does uh, stolen vehicle locator and uh, roadside assistance for the first three years. And as of the Toyota, they want to charge later on that. They haven't decided that yet. Pick up for your Bluetooth. There is no mirrors in these van no vanity mirrors in this uh, level of vehicle. Again, Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. I think this is a great value for the money, especially when you're talking about its resale. Uh, Tacomas have been in the 70 percentile range of resale at five years with average miles on it, 72 to 75 percent. Um, so you can't go wrong with this vehicle. You could have it for years on end and get a good portion of your money back. Because remember, the price of a vehicle is not how much you spend for it. It's how much you spend for it, how much it costs during the time you have it for insurance and maintenance, and how much you get back at the end when you when you resell it. So and this thing will be some one of the lowest cost of ownerships for a pickup, um, for a, and also one of the highest. Uh, recouped uh investment that you'll get a lot of your money back on well thank you again for watching we'll see you next time